Hey guys, what's up? First thing first, really quick, uh, this is just a tutorial on setting up the uh, water plane mesh for the Unreal Engine. And uh, I apologize in advance about the sound going on in the background. When the power went out the other day, it uh, caused an issue with uh, the filter that I have in a turtle tank in my room. So it's making quite a bit of noise, and again, I'm sorry about that. I gotta fix that tomorrow. But anyways, uh, back to the tutorial, so... Uh, yeah, let's start off, you know, blank saying or whatever. Oh, before you do anything, before I forget. Make sure your unit's set up. It's set the centimeters, that way it matches up with Unreal units. And, uh, yeah, anyways, let's, uh... Drag out a little guy here. And then, for that, this one I'm gonna do... 40 by 96, and that's in the length and width. You can do whatever size you need it set to. You don't have to do it this big. It's just what I wanted to try. But yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, so now let's go over the modifiers tab right there. Get the drop down, go down, and it's all the way towards the bottom. UVW map. Make sure it's set to planar, or planar, or however you pronounce it. Check that. Set the, uh, U and V tallying to, uh, basically the way this works is you want to set for like every like 1 and 300 of your length or width or whatever. You set to, you know, so like if it was, for example, let me show you. 40 by 96 divided by 300. There's your one. There's the number you want to do. You can round it up or down, it doesn't really matter. I think I did it to 13 before and it was fine. I'll try 14 this time and see if it's alright. It should be alright, it's not that big of a difference. But yeah. Anyways, though, uh... Yeah, now I'm gonna go back up here again. Get another UVW map. Except this one, you leave it all the same as before. But we're not gonna adjust this at all, we're just gonna change the channel to 2. That's for your, uh, light mapping. But yeah. Anyways, one more thing to do before I forget. Go down here. Scroll, I think it's in the middle somewhere. There it is. Tessellate. And the thing here is I zoom out. You want to make sure you have enough iterations on this thing, because if you don't, it'll either look really jagged and you'll get like some uh, really ugly tessellation, or it'll just barely tessellate at all and you'll just get really subtle effects nowhere near what you want. So just for the sake of doing this, I'm just gonna set it to four just so it's already got a ton of detail in there, so you can, uh, tessellate it pretty easily. So the effects look nice and everything like that. And set to, uh, polygons instead. I like the squares. I guess you could set to triangles. I don't know what the difference is, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> if anyone knows, feel free to correct me. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, now go to, uh, export it. And uh, I'm assuming, just for the sake of doing this, that you already have the FBX save as when you export. That's the file type you should use when you're using Unreal. But anyways, um, yeah, I already got one saved from earlier, so I'm just going to save over that. You can name it whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. Replace it, yeah. And then, for this stuff, I'm, I'm going to place a link in the description for you. It's uh, all just based off the uh, import guidelines for Unreal Engine. They have it in their official documentation that you can look at whenever you want to. So uh, yeah, check the description in the uh, video and I'll make sure to post a link there for it. Alright, hit OK. It's gonna export it. And... Right, over here. 3dx max, export, and there it is, right there. Anyways, let's uh, pop up the Unreal Engine. And then grab our export here. Now for the sake of doing this, just literally just drag and drop. Import. Golf autosave. Let's save it really quick just to make sure it's there. Double click it, and then just really quick check and make sure the light map coordinate is set to 1. Sometimes it defaults to a different number and you don't want to f that up. 
All right, now if you want to, you can uh, drag out your mesh. If you want to, you can either just click and drag your material onto it, or you can go back in here and set it as the default one, so when you, as soon as you pull it out, it's automatically set. Let's go on the bottom, right there. Save. And then, if you look up close to it, you can see you still got some nice amount of detail there. And just so you can get the uh, better lighting so this doesn't look like ass. Let me build the lighting really quick. Sometimes this is really fast for me, and other times it just takes forever. see it uh, still nice and detailed waves and in case you're wondering about the slowdown that's just because of Vandicam I tested this earlier and there was no slowdown whatsoever so Unreal plus Vandicam equals lag on my computer I guess it has limits <laughs> but yeah Anyways, hopefully that should help you guys who are trying to set the plane mesh at least. And uh, if you're still having more trouble, just let me know and I'll uh, try to help you with, the, I guess, the tessellation and the material then. Alright, that said, uh, yeah, have fun messing with Unreal, you guys.